Hey friends, thank you for tuning in today. We're gonna to make something awesome, something you've never had before, probably. Porgy sausage. Me and my buddy Teddy went out on the water yesterday. We had a rough week and we weren't looking to do some complicated fishing. We just wanted to go out for a couple hours, talk, and just have a little bit of fun without having to think too much. Grab some porgies, and porgies, or scup as they're also known, are just a really easy fish to catch. No porgosaurus? Could be, but I doubt it. I think it's a sea robin. Oh, come on now. No, my God! Check it out, dude! Bring it up, bring it up. Oh my God. Oh. Before you know it, because the limit is like 30 per person, you kind of fill up a cooler really fast because they're fun, they put up a nice little fight, they're easy to catch, you're bringing them into the boat, and before you know it, you have a ton of porgies, and you don't really want to freeze them. So what do you do with all those porgies? So I said, you know what? I bet you they would be really awesome as sausages. So we're gonna try to make that today. I'm gonna be using a pork casing today, and I know some people don't like pork, so they make a collagen casing that's made from vegetable fibers. That's an option, but you can also make this without any casing at all, and I'm gonna show you how to do that a little later. Rinse off as much of it as you can, and then you're gonna to wanna to soak it in warm water for at least a half an hour. I spent a good hour or so filleting up all those porgies that we caught. They actually generated six and a quarter pounds. What we want is to have 50% blended porgies that are pureed fine and 50% blended porgies that are pureed coarse because we want to generate that level of texture. And this is more of what the coarsely pureed porgy looks like. It's almost like a minced meat. Let's talk a little bit about ratios. And in order to do it accurately, you're gonna have to weigh each ingredient. If you go to my website, awarehousechef.com, I give you a full written recipe. And it's gonna change depending on how many pounds of porgy meat you use to make this sausage. To the six and a quarter pound of porgy, or 2,800 grams of porgy, I am going to add 475 grams of minced onion and 250 grams of minced red bell pepper. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of avocado oil to this pan and get it good and hot, at least to 350 degrees. You wanna make sure that you pull those habanero peppers out when they get to the temperature or the hotness that you like in the dish. And you're going to have to let this cool down before you add it to your porgy mix. We're gonna coarsely chop up two ounces of organic parsley. And there's something really special about organic parsley. It has such a strong, bright aroma, very different than non-organic. We're gonna take two ounces of organic garlic cloves and add that to our mixer, along with the coarsely chopped parsley that we cut up earlier, the two ounces of parsley. So pulse it. It's almost like a crumble. I'm gonna be making two types of sausage today. The base ingredients for both are gonna be quite identical. The second type of sausage is gonna be a mix of 75% porgy to 25% shrimp. I just wanna see if the texture makes a difference. I'm experimenting a little bit. Now the fish is really, really lean and you're gonna have to add some butter to it or some kind of fat to it. I'm gonna do a 12% ratio, which means I'm gonna add 12 ounces of butter. A teaspoon and a half of oregano. Three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, four tablespoons of Celtic sea salt, a cup and a half of almond flour, the juice of one and a half lemons, our butter. Time to mix it all up. This is now cool, and I'm gonna add our pepper and onion and habanero mix to this, and then continue to mix that in. As I mentioned earlier, we're gonna make two batches, one with shrimp and one without. And the ratio of shrimp to the other mix is about 25%. 
So three, four to one. You want to run cold water through the casing and rinse that out thoroughly. I'm just going to squeeze the juice of one lemon onto this, just in case there's any strong scent. I'm just going to follow the manufacturer's suggestions for this particular machine, which is one ounce of water to every pound of mixture. They swear that it doesn't affect the flavor. I'm kind of leery. I've never done that before, but I've also never used this machine before. Just make sure the water you add to this is cold. Wipe a little bit of avocado oil onto the shaft and make sure that the shaft that you use is the appropriate size for the casing that you purchased. So I wound up putting on a smaller stem because the other one was just too tight. So I put the smallest one that I found on here in the kit. And this goes on a lot easier. I think the trick is to make sure that the casing doesn't bunch up to one side or the other of the, of the shaft, like, like here. So when it bunches up, just pull on the, under, the, other, the opposite side. Okay, you're gonna wanna leave a couple of inches of casing like that. So we're gonna start out with the shrimp first and add it to the container here. Press it down so that there's no air pockets. You don't too, too tight, otherwise it'll burst on you. You also want to leave a few inches. Just want to twist the end, then determine how long you want them to be. Find a spot, pinch it, twist, that looks good to me. Go to the next spot, about a hand, I can say about the distance of my hand, twist it. Try not to untwist the other side while you're doing it. Now, ultimately, there are gonna be some air pockets. So take a needle or something sharp. I'm gonna use this pair of scissors I have here and just pop a hole in the casing where there's an air pocket. And that's okay. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna show you how to make this without a casing. Form a little log in the center of some saran wrap, about the size of the sausage you wanna cook, and turn that round and then twist the ends in opposite directions. And don't do this too hard, because it could burst. You have to make sure that your mix is really, really, really cold. And just wrap the whole thing in foil. I made a really simple slaw out of hearts of palm, chives, olive oil, sea salt, and a little bit of toasted sesame seeds. It goes so well with the sausage. That is, that is absolutely off the charts. Mm. All right, yeah. which one am I trying first? Uh, go with straight forward first. first. Yeah. Straight forward. Yeah. Small one, small you might one. need a knife, though. Use your knife. Because it's kind of, it's got the case. Okay. okay. Wow, that's crazy. What's in this? I really want to thank you for tuning in. Again, 
hit that subscribe button. The detailed recipe for this is on my website. You can download that and print it out. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next week. Uh -huh.